to probability, which is the basis to statistical inference. We have covered the descriptive biostatistics, and so now we are going to cover probability. Probability plays an important role in inferential statistics. That is, all the other topics that will come thereafter are based on your understanding of probability. Remember, when we do hypothesis testing, basically we are using probability to authenticate and measure the degree of confidence that we will have in our decisions. So in this particular tutorial, I will introduce you to probability and then we will look at the elementary properties of probability and then how to calculate probabilities of events. So what is probability? Generally, probability is a measure or a number that is used to measure sorry, the chance of occurrence of some event. So when we say the probability that it will rain tomorrow, we attach a number. That number will be used to quantify the likelihood. So generally, the probability of an event lies between 0 and 1. If the probability of an event is 0, it means that is a rare event. In other words, that event will not happen. Whereas if the probability of an event is 1, it means it's a sure event, we call it a sure event, or no matter what, that event will happen. As an example, the probability that the sun will rise in any given day in Namibia is almost 1. Whereas the, the probability of you meeting a donkey that can fly is a rare event. So we call that probability 0. Now, it, probability helps to express the certainty or confidence in the decisions and judgments we make. Every day we are confronted with the uh, situations where we are supposed to make decisions. And it is basically through probability that always run in our head, even though we may not know that we are able to either take a certain decision or ignore a certain course of action. Now, I want us to go through important terms. We are going to define important terms that are linked to probability. The first term that we are going to define is experiment. Experiment basically is a process which, if you perform it, will result in one and only one of a number of observations occurring or being observed. So what, okay, as an example, if you flip a coin or you, you flip a coin once, it's either you can obtain a head or a tail. So the observation head, for example, if a head appears, we call that an outcome. If you get a tail, we call that an outcome. And basically, that is an experiment. Now, what is the sample space? The totality of all possible outcomes of an experiment is what we refer to as a sample space. And it is sometimes referred to as a universal set. So it is very, very important for us to be able to appreciate the sample space of any given experiment because it is the basis for which we are able to calculate probabilities as you are going to see in the subsequent, uh, in the subsequent uh, work on this tutorial. Now, an event is any subset of the sample space. So I want you to take note of that from the work that we are covering in the basic mathematics. A sample space is a set with a special property that it contains all outcomes of an experiment. An event is a subset of a sample space. So in other words, it contains certain elements. And I want you to recall the work that we did when we were looking at uh, uh, the power set. Remember, the power set is simply a set which contains all the, the set of uh, subsets of a a set. So now when we look at an event, an event is a subset of the sample space. We are going to, of course, look at examples that will help you to understand what we mean when we talk of an event. Now let's look at an example. If we flip a coin three times, what is the sample space? So I want us to put this in our mind as we are going to answer these questions in the subsequent, uh, as we proceed. If we have a box containing four slips of papers numbered one, two, three, and four, suppose someone picks two slips at random, one after the other,
give the sample space, assuming that there is no replacement. So we are going to respond to one and two and then try to see what really a sample space is and what an event is. Now, what do we mean when we say events are equally likely out, equally likely, have equally likely outcomes? Now, if there is no bias in the occurrence of one event, we call such events equally likely. If we toss a coin, assuming that the coin is not tempered with, in other words, if it is not crushed or whatever, there, the chance of it landing head up is the same as the chance of it landing tail up. And we call event head appearing and tail appearing equally likely. Now, let us look at uh, an example to illustrate sample space plus the, as well as an event. And this example, again, I want you to keep it in mind. We are going to cover it as we proceed. A big box contains six equal packets of accessions for Bambara groundnuts, which are numbered from one up to six. One packet is selected from the box at random and you observe the number on it. I want you to appreciate that this is an experiment on its own. So we are able to make observations and record what we have observed. So I want us to be able to specify the sample space. Remember, the sample space is the totality of all possible observations of this particular experiment. And I want you to determine the elements of the following events, getting an EV number, numbered packet, getting a number that is less than four, getting one or three, getting an odd number, getting a negative number, getting a number less than seven. We are going to cover, we are going to answer these questions as we illustrate both what a sample space is and what an event is. Now let us look at the operations on events. Suppose we have two events A and B. I want to define one particular sample space S. I want us to define what we mean when we talk of the union of two events. Union of two events is written A union B or simply A plus B. What is it? A union B consists of all elements in A or in B or in both. So in other words, uh, the event A union B occurs if either event A okay or event B occurs or both A and B occurs. And I'm sure we, we are able to appreciate this from the work that we are doing in basic mathematics. Now what is the intersection of the events A intersection B? Event A intersection B consists of all elements that are both in A and B. Event A intersection B occurs if both the two events occur. Now what is the complement of an event A, which we normally denote by A with a small C on top or A with a prime on top? It consists of all outcomes of S, but not in A. In other words, any other event can occur, which is defined within the sample space S, for as long as event A does not occur. So in other words, it occurs if event A does not occur. Now, we are going now to illustrate sample space, event, and also operations. That is the union, the intersection, and complement using our same example that we looked at for a box, a big box that contains six equal packets of accessions for Bambara ground nuts, which are numbered from one to six. One person picks a packet at random from the box and observes the number on that particular packet. So I want us to answer a couple of questions such as, what is the sample space for that particular experiment? We are going to define a couple of events. We are going to illustrate what we mean when we say event A union B. We are going to illustrate what we mean when we say A intersection B, and we are going to also appreciate the concept of the intersection of events. We are going also to illustrate the mutually exclusive events, and so on. In conclusion, in this particular video, we have introduced the basics of probability, defined basic terms that are connected with the probability, such as experiment, sample space, and we've also done some operations on sets, that is the union of sets, the intersection, and the complement of sets.
In this tutorial also I have deliberately given problems that are presented as examples with no solutions. The idea is to give you ample opportunity to go through the examples yourself and try to produce solutions from your understanding of the definitions given in the tutorial before you move on to watch the upcoming video where most of those problems that are given in this particular tutorial will be answered. Thank you very much. Wishing you all the best.